My name is Alex Asefi. I grew up in Modesto. It's about two or three hours away from San Francisco. A lot of farmland in the area. Sometimes you'll get a huge gust of wind and you just smell like the cows uh, who are dispersed out in the, the outskirts. Uh, but the downtown area, it's, it's a lot smaller than Philadelphia or San Francisco. Just try to spend all my time outdoors. I, you know, I to go biking, skateboarding, or play football out on the street with the other kids. Outdoors, I was always riding bikes with my friend, Ryan. We used to just, you know, hang out. One day, we found this one house that had been up for sale for a long time. It was a big house. It was on a lot of land. It was, it was fenced off. Ryan, man, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm just looking at this abandoned house. It's empty for sure. Very cool. We should check it out. I'm in. Wanna do it tonight? I'm down tonight. Ryan suggested that we see what's inside. If Ryan wanted to do it, I, I was in. Ryan's the daredevil, and he was always there to take it to the next level. And we lived in a boring neighborhood, so I was in. Let's do it. We got to the house probably sometime after midnight. And the way we would get in is on the side of the house. And it just so happened that the door in the back was open and unlocked. But before we go into the house, this feeling of dread starts to come over me. I can see from the corner of my eye some black figure jump out of the bushes and into the tall grass. So I snapped my head over really fast to see what it was. I thought maybe some squatter was trying to scare us out of his house. I kind of just stayed there, examined that whole area to see what was going to come out. But nothing did. The only source of light in the kitchen was the street light that was across the street. Other than that, all the way down the hallway, it was pitch black. There were some tools on the floor lying about. Um, other than that, the kitchen was empty. The cabinets were empty. Looks like whoever's working here left in a hurry. Yeah, I'd say. We should take a look around the house, check nobody's here. You go ahead. I'll stay here. Even though there's construction tools, it, did, it didn't look like anyone was doing any construction in there. Ryan hung out in the kitchen while I took a look around the house by myself. There was a living room that connected directly to the kitchen. In that hallway, there's a few tools here and there. Yeah, so I was a little scared at that point. I actually went from fear to kind of excited. Uh, it was something new. It, the adrenaline rush from, you know, being somewhere I wasn't supposed to be. Uh, the place is empty. Cool. I 
I had looked above me and above me on the doorway there was a uh, I guess it's like a plaque it was like a metal plaque it looked like a rusty shield but you know old Trying to take apart this drill. Is it coming along? Slowly but surely, yeah. What was that? I don't know. It sounded like metal scraping against rock, and then a kind of a bang against the wall. When I turned around, I just saw nothing. It was all pitch black down there. I got really scared. We went to go investigate what it was. Is that the... Yeah. How did it get down here? At our feet, at the end of the hallway, was the shield. Maybe I, you know, hit it with the back of my heel and it just skid down the hallway. This, this is way too weird. I was actually relieved to see that it was the shield and not some homeless guy squatting at the other end of the house. We both let out a sigh of relief and picked up the shield and I took it back down to the kitchen. I decided to hang it back up so I don't kick it again and scare ourselves. We start hearing the banging. We make our way towards the banging. We had made a pact that no matter what happens in there, we have to stick together because once we separate, then who knows what can happen. I thought maybe I'm gonna have to you know, tussle with this homeless man in there, but there was nothing in there, no one in there. No damage, nothing. Empty room. Now we're really freaked out. Somebody's gonna be messing with us, man. We're gonna find you! Ryan's saying there's someone in the house, someone's messing with us. I was like, I checked out the whole house, there's no one here. So I'm, not, I'm, you know, I'm not sure what's going on. We start hearing the banging again from the other end of the hallway. I could see this metal piece sticking out of the wall. We make our way back into the kitchen. Found nothing. In the kitchen there was a door leading into a living room that connected directly to the kitchen. I'm super scared. I, you know, I'm frozen and I'm waiting for someone to come in and open the door and just attack us.